have this three pound cake in there, along with two diced green peppers. Look at that. One whole onion. So you just chop this up in, what is that called, a chopper? Or? Yeah, it's like a chopper. It's a ninja. A, not, a ninja chopper? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we've got three eggs. Or Kim calls them butt nuggets. Butt nuggets. This is my sister, folks, and there's Kim. She's just hanging out tonight. Three eggs. Now, These, we're serving 24 people with this, or? You, yes, something like that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What do you got here? This is a sleeve of saltine crackers. Uh -huh. We're going to crush them and put them in there. That'll create a binder for the meat. There we go. That's that's what we're talking about. All right. Miss one moment. So, we've got all this in here. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take some pepper. Be generous, because there's like five pounds of meat in here. How many pounds is that meat? Five pounds. That's five pounds of That's meat? That's five pounds of meat. I thought it was like a pound and a half. No. That's a lot of meat. That's five and a half pounds of meat. So we're gonna put some salt. Now, start mixing it up. And this is before you put the sauce in? This is before I put the sauce in. I try to get all the crackers and the bell pepper and the onions all mixed in. With the egg? Yes, and I, I my hands are washed. I washed them right before, didn't touch anything else. Now, do you ask other people to wash their hands? I pretty much, I mean, if it's a clean cook, I don't ask them to wash their yeah. hands. I just go with the flow, and I mean, this is how I was raised. What do you tell the people that say wear gloves when you're cooking your home dinners? I'm cooking for my family. Yeah. You know, my family knows mm -hmm. that I put love and care, and I wouldn't dare, you know, feed them dirty you know yeah you so, clean you clean the dirt out of under your fingernails oh yeah scrub them with a brush uh -huh. you can't find a lick of dirt under there mm. now is the time for the barbecue sauce. what are we using sweet baby rays okay traditional traditional squirt it all in there the whole bottle well but this is with five pounds of meat so yeah with that almost all of it i yeah. say probably two-thirds of the bottle i love that and we just mix there again. We I mean, it. this looks like it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Oh, it's amazing. I know I'm not a big meatloaf fan, mm -hmm. but I do love this meatloaf. All right, so we got that all nice and mixed. All nice and mixed. Now we dump it. Whoa, Here's look at that big meat. Get everything out of it. We're gonna mash it down. So you mash the big meat down. You do, you do. And you don't want it to overflow. And there's a trick for the grease when you're making meatloaf. Uh -huh. Tuck it under, then you have a little like moat grease for your trap. grease. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so you just. They call it a, a grease trap? Yeah, it's like a grease trap. Love that. And so all the grease will gather around here. Nice. So that you don't have it all in there all right that looks good and done all right we're gonna put it in the oven on 350 degrees this is a very large one so it might take an hour and a half but usually when i make one that's just a couple pounds i do it for an hour okay all right mm. holy you put ketchup on it too in the in, i in the did room. i did look at that thing it's this is five pounds of Pure girth meat. <laughs> yes. And the little, the grease is in the wells. Yes. Around. And so you can actually scoop the scoop grease up and just pour, pour it, it on the meat after. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Look at the meat. Mm. Very hot. Careful. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. All right, what do I got again? I've got a box of cooked bow ties. I went ahead and cooked them before mm -hmm. we... Well, that one don't want to go. There it goes. There we go. <clears throat> Two cups of rotisserie chicken. Mm-hmm. We've got a big bowl here. We're just going to combine everything for supper. One cup of the shaved Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Yum. A half a cup of bacon bits. 
Now I'm gonna mix that up a little bit before we get any more so we don't get too much in it and not be able to stir it up. And did we say the bow tie pasta was chilled? Yes, it's cold. You always yep. rinse when you're mixing in a salad like this. Mm -hmm. Cause you don't want the salad to wilt. No. Then we're gonna take two cups of romaine lettuce. Mm -hmm. We're using this kind, market side leafy romaine. Okay, got it in there. Now we're going to take a bag, five ounce bag of these Caesar croutons. Mm. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Whoa. A lot of noises in the kitchen <laughs> yeah. today. This will be a nice little pasta salad mm -hmm. with our dinner, our chicken maybe. Okay, now you're gonna take a, any creamy Caesar, it don't have to be this brand, but any 12 ounces of it. This is a 16, so we won't need all Gosh, of it. Gosh, that's a lot of dressing no matter yeah. what, right? Yeah, see, I mean, you can use it. However, you can add however much yeah. you want. And I think you probably need to put some and toss it. Mm -hmm. And see where we're at. Yes, yeah, that way you want to get it too. What's your favorite kind of salad dressing? I like ranch or Thousand Island. Mm. I don't like all ranches though. That's probably enough in that one. That's looking good. Oh yeah, good. that looks really good. We need a taste tester. I know, and this is so simple. Tyler, you wanna taste test this? I'm coming. Okay, cause this looks Ooh. good. And I thought it'd be good for you. Ooh. Don't that look good? We're gonna give that you some bow ties, good. some lettuce, chicken in there. Wow. Look at all that. Mm. Now, is this going to be too hot? Do I need to let it cool down? No, no this is a cold salad, sir. Cold salad. Make sure you get every little bite. You got, get you a crouton in there. Yeah, get the crouton. Oh, you guys hear that crunch? Mm. So, Tyler, what's in this is bow tie, chicken, croutons, what kind of lettuce? Romaine. Romaine and Caesar salad. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, I think that's good. What would you rate it? An eight point eight. Okay, so what could work? What could make give it a nine? He's just not a I salad. Just think it's, He's not a salad person. He'd rather have some meat and taters. I think it's good how it is. It looks delicious to me. Cans of Rotel sauce. Oh boy! Just throw them down in the bowl. Uh huh. Okay, one cup of chicken broth. Okay. Every, I think every recipe has to have chicken broth. Low sodium? Yes. <laughs> Tablespoon of chili powder. Or what do they call it? A healthy request? Yes. Don't, uh, uh, we don't buy none of that. That's gross. No, that, is, that is nasty. Uh, teaspoon of... Cumin or cumin? It's whatever. C-U-M-I-N is All what right. it is. I can spell. I know that. I mm -hmm. not can say. Then I've got... Uh, Half teaspoon of salt, four teaspoon of pepper. Well, chili powder is strong, so mm -hmm. just kind of mix your seasons in with your rotel. Yeah. Three cups of our shredded chicken, where I boiled the breast earlier uh -huh. and got them all shredded up. You now I can boil your breast or do whatever you want. Then we want a jar of black beans, but we did drain them and rinse them before I got them in the bowl. A bag of frozen corn, and I just picked up the golden white. It doesn't matter, it can be all yellow. Make sure to chew your corn well, because it's hard to digest. Then you're gonna put in 12 corn tortillas that you've quartered. I've already got them quartered. Oh, this so. is a, <laughs> this is an interesting it's a recipe. Dip, yeah, I just found this. So now we're gonna combine all this together. You, let's just add, we got a little bit more chicken broth here. Let's add just, a little bit more. Yeah, let's just put that in there so we don't want no dry. Uh-uh, we don't. Now, we also, we have to have um, Monterey Jack cheese. Mm -hmm. We need half of it in here now. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put half of it. The rest we're gonna save for the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we got that, now that's better. Good, let's dump it. Right okay, now, you're just gonna take your nine by 13 greased right. casserole and you're gonna dump it literally in here. Oh, oh it's, boy, like it's kinda heavy. Heavy and it's, there's a lot of stuff. There is, I might have to, but. Ooh, it's strong. <laughs> okay, well, we don't wanna leave any of our grease, especially mm -hmm. not our liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's looking nice. We're gonna bake this for 25 minutes, then we'll put our cheese on the top and Let's bake it a little bit. Okay, now do cover it with aluminum foil because you don't want your tortillas getting too toasty. Okay. Okay, we've cooked this for 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. So now we're just gonna pull it out a little bit, remove our aluminum foil. Oh, don't look bad. Now we're gonna put the other half of the Mario Mario Jack, cheese. Jack cheese on top and cook it for 10 minutes. Make sure you don't burn yourself, folks. We're just gonna leave that right there. No, we're not. No, we're not. Don't burn your hand, Kim. I'm not. It's like playing an uh, operation. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna put it in there for 10 minutes and it'll be done. We got enough liquid, but I believe look at it. Look at that, that's great. Okay, 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, wow, fabulous. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Honestly, it looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll let it cool a second and then we'll dig in. All right. Okay, well, give me some tortilla here. And it's tortilla, Kim. Or tortilla, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about all that tortilla. Um, not tortilla, tortilla. Tortilla, tortilla. No, tortilla, it's T-O-R-T-I-L-L-A. Tortilla. Well, here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, we're gonna say tortilla. Okay, blow on that. Oh, Kim. Is it not hot? Mm, it's cool, yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think? You know, it's good. I don't know if I like that soggy to corn tortillas. Mm -hmm. But not bad? Mm-hmm, not bad. It's good. A couple pounds of ground beef. We're going to brown up. Oh, the meat looks nice and brown. Okay, now we are going to add four chopped jalapenos. Mm -hmm. Or jalapenos, as my mom would say. Yes, and about a medium onion. Okay. Simmer on here for a few minutes. All right, looks good. Okay, we're gonna have this set aside while we make the batter. Mm. Okay, we're going to take one can of cream style corn, mm -hmm. dump that in a bowl with one cup of whole milk, mm -hmm. a half a cup of vegetable oil, and two eggs. We're going to combine this all first. Now, now we're going to add one cup of self-rising cornmeal, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, we're gonna combine all this up. Okay, now what you're gonna do is take half of this batter, pour it in a nine by 13 grease casserole dish. So we're gonna take this, do half in here. Make this a little bit more, mm -hmm. okay? Now you're going to take cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. I've got four cups here. We're gonna put two cups on now. Okay, mm -hmm. then you're going to take your hamburger mixture and add it next. All of it? All of it. Mm. Right, I can just turn it over. Might as well. Now we did two pounds of meat, but you can do one. Yes, or... you can use one, but we thought we might just have some good old meat in here. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, once you've got the meat on there mm -hmm. with your jalapenos and onions, you're gonna take your other two cups of cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. put it on there. So you got four cups of cheese on the recipe. Damn, that looks good. Okay, and the last thing you're gonna do, pat it down a little bit, you're gonna add the remaining of your batter mm -hmm. on top.
We can take our spatula. Get it all get scooped all out. The, out of there. And spread it out. Now this will have to cook for about an hour mm -hmm. on 350. But then you'll have a good casserole for dinner tonight. Looks good. Let's That's try a good. bite of this. Okay, let's try here. Sure. Oh, it comes out perfectly. Oh, look at melted cheese. Mm, and the jalapenos in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lots of them. I did six. Mm. Four. That looks really there's nice. There's your fork. All right, I'm going to hand off the phone. All right, looks good. Let's there. try this. Everything looks cooked throughout. We gave it a few minutes to cool. It must still be a little warm, too. Yeah. But really good. Really good? Mm-hmm. Here, babe. Got one pound of shredded hash browns mm. straight into the crock pot. Yum. All right, now that we got that in there, we're going to take our one pound of ground beef. Oh. Add it to our already hot skillet. You put any oil or? No, because ground beef is already fatty. Okay, we're going to start mixing that up. Oops. Add in some garlic, just some yeah. minced garlic. Oh, nice. Give it a little flavor. How much are you putting in? Just about one teaspoon. That looks about right. Onion. Give this a good stir. Wait, I think I have it over here. This is, oh, this is diced up really nice. Okay. Thank you. Gonna add it to our beef that's cooking. It's a yellow small onion. It's nice and that yeah. looks nice and brown. It's great. All done. All right. We're gonna take it over to our crock pot. Ooh. And we're just gonna dump it in. Right over. Yeah, and I don't like to drain it because it's already 80% lean. And I like the fat, it gives it a good flavor. We need a little more fat. Yeah, and we're not having a ton of like fatty foods in this anyway, so mm. it'll just be a good balance. Okay, now that we have our meat in there, mm. we Look have one can of green chilies. Ooh, fire roasted? This adds really good flavor. Green chilies, you can pretty much add them to anything Tex-Mex mm -hmm. and it's delicious. Okay, we also have one can of Rotel. Mm. We have the mild version here, so no, we don't always like it spicy. Oh, that looks pretty. Uh huh. Next, this is the secret ingredient: Fiesto Nacho Cheese mm. Sauce. Did you know Campbell's made this? I didn't. It looks just ooh, it it. <laughs> that looked disgusting, but whatever. And then we're gonna add in a can of refried beans. Mm. Gotta squish that thing out. There you it is. You got it. Perfect. And last but not least, we have half a cup of sour cream. And we have actually one more ingredient. Oh yeah, sorry, one more. The most important, all the flavor mm -hmm. comes from this. We have our taco seasoning. Mm. We're gonna just dump all this in here. And we're gonna give it a good mix. Okay? Let's stir this thing. Let's see how it's done, babe. We actually forgot one more ingredient, the most important ingredient. We need two and a half cups of mild cheddar cheese. That's good. You just gotta yeah. eyeball it. Mm -hmm. Then I like to take some tongs because it really gets down in there deep. And mix. The poke and twist. Mm -hmm. Really just gets it all nice and stirred together. Mm -hmm. All right, that looks nice and mixed. All right, now that we got our crock pot all mixed together nice. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna do it on high for two hours. Oops. There we go. All right, our final reveal. Ooh, Ooh, wow. This smells good. Is right. it, so it's a casserole, right? Or? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's like a one dish mm -hmm. meal from a crock mm. pot. It's really hot. Make sure to blow on it, Tyler. We don't want the same thing to yeah. happen as last time. <laughs> really blow on it good. See, don't want to burn yourself. Cheers. Mm.
that's a pretty good.